Gritty Urban Saga. So, like I said, I've decided to make a uh, how-to video, uh, a series of how-to videos on how to play Street Fighter. Now, I am not claiming to be a top fighting game player or anything, but I do know a few of the fundamentals, and I think that there are a few lessons that I could teach uh, to people who just haven't really gotten into Street Fighter in the past or maybe looking to get into it more. Um, so, the first thing I want to talk about is choosing your character. Um, it's the first thing you ever do in a fighting game, pretty much, uh, besides pick what side you're going to sit on. So, I think it's very important that you choose a character that you can relate to or uh, that you like his character design or her character design or you really like their backstory. Uh, something about them. Everyone in the fighting game uh, community pretty much knows that you play better with characters that you actually believe in or you actually have uh, feelings for. Uh, you know, it sounds kind of corny, but it's, it's something that I've witnessed and seen over the years that is very true. So, someone like me... Um, I like to I like to rush people down. Uh, I like to be in people's faces. I also like to be able to play a defensive game, and I also relate very well with uh, Bison. So, um, Bison is the character for me that is my uh, favorite character. It's somebody I like his uh, I like everything that has been presented in the animated series and everything. Uh, so that's the character that I choose mostly. Now I also have a secondary character, which would be Balrog. Um, I just really like his attacks, I like his overall mentality, um, I just like the brutality of his combat and all that. Um, so what I'd say is that you want to find out who you like, who, who really fits um, the way you want to play also. Now, certain characters in this game fit into certain categories of attacking, defending, zoning, um, you know, projectile, all kinds of things. So, if you find that you are more of uh, someone who wants to be able to have a versatility, you'd probably want to start with someone like Ryu, um, because he has um, he has good normals. Um, his, his normal attacks, uh, normals is just kind of like a a short way of saying their regular attacks when you're not doing like a Shoryuken or a Hadouken, any of their special moves. So when he puts out a, a standing uh, light punch, it, it's a good move. When he when he can uh, when he goes to trip you, it's a good move. It has a good amount of recovery, but it is a, it's a very good move, and you can even combo into it. Um, so that's what I wanted to kind of get on here and say about choosing your character. You want to choose somebody that fits your fighting style. So if you're someone who wants to play a lot of defense, um, if you're someone who wants to you know, hold back and just kind of see the way that the battle is going, you might want to start out with someone like Guile. Uh, he's got very fast recovery on his projectile, his sonic boom. Uh, he has a flash kick. I mean, he only has really two special command moves. <laughs> he has a sonic boom and a flash kick, but that formula uh, makes it very hard for other characters if you play him right. Um, if you want to do some rushdown, if you really want to get in people's faces and you don't want to play defense, you just want to run up on people, um, you might want to choose someone like Akuma. Um, he has very powerful rushdown. Uh, he, he is a mix-up character. He can get you into a vortex. It's not as easy in this game, but um, you can definitely catch people slipping. So you kind of want to do some research into which characters do what, um, what their strengths are. Someone like Dalsim. He's going to sit back, he's going to stay further away from people and zone them out with his long stretching attacks. Um, so if that sounds like it's up your alley, you might want to start out with him. Keep in mind, he's a very difficult character to just jump into. It's going to take you a while. Um, so, yeah, just kind of play around and see which character fits what you like. And also, don't let anyone tell you a certain character is... Uh, much higher tier than another one. If you put in the time and you learn your matchups, you'll do just fine with any character on this screen. Um, so yeah, that's what I want to say about choosing your character. Um, let me get, let me know what you guys think about the video here. I'm also going to be putting up uh, videos in the future about uh, you know more complex strategies and things like that. But I feel like I figured this is a good place to start. Also, drop me a subscribe if you find this video helpful. There's going to be a lot more in the future that you will also find helpful as well if this helped you. Gritty Urban Saga.